demonstration I have is this uh, kind of virtual modeling demonstration where it actually is going to rotate this like marble I have and this is going to carve it away, this tool. So when I spin it and I carve it, it's like a lathe or something. So I can just reach out and grab this and, and I don't have to spin it, I can just carve it away with the tool. Or instead of carving, I can use a, uh, a different tool, which is called a sculpting tool, which is to grab something and I can pull on it. So I can grab and pull different pieces. You can, you can imagine creating your own landscapes in a game or something. No, like it, making tracks and yeah, animation you can make, Yeah, you can do it for something like that, customizing. You could take it and you could customize your own sword for the use, like you imagine, just I want to be a wicked looking sword. <laughs> and now I want to go to here, and now I have you know, this kind of sword to play with instead. The last object we have is this kind of human head, and that, that's neat because you can grab it. And the, the geometry is already pretty rich for a human model like that, and I can just take it and customize it, reach out maybe some you know, pointy ears or very quickly you can turn a, a nice face into a monster <laughs> <laughs> you can really design your own avatars for games in a way yeah and if you don't like it you can just you know, of course start over but you can grab them like give them a goatee and you could give them like little spikes <laughs> all sorts of crazy things you can do and this is for like really good for user generated content